Uh, this violin was actually made for me. Uh, it was a special commission. It was made for me by Guy Harrison in 2010. And the hardest thing is to find instruments that you're comfortable with and, and that sound wonderful. And, uh, and this instrument turned out to be everything uh, I was looking for. It's part of an ongoing feature I'm doing on local people who work in what I like to call ancient handcrafts. I stopped by Guy Harrison's violin workshop here in Little Italy to speak to him about his work as one of the country's foremost violin makers. Now Harrison is part of a growing legion of violin makers across the world who are rejuvenating this ancient art, an art that was on the decline up until the 1960s. There's more and more great, really fine new makers today, and the demand for good new instruments is quite high. Um, the price of old instruments has gone up a lot, and so they've become a lot of great old instruments are really unaffordable for most musicians today, and which is a which is a shame. But it does leave an opportunity for new instruments to be made. One of Guy Harrison's favorite pieces is a copy of the long form Stradivarian, ironically called the Harrison. Now he did that for professional violinist Christian Vachon, who came by the shop to tell us what it's like to have a handcrafted instrument by a local luthier. So when you're looking for an instrument, you want essentially to have sort of a collaborative relationship where the instrument becomes your voice and it works with how you want to express yourself. And when you achieve that as, as that combination, then uh, as an artist, then you know all the possibilities are, are open for you on stage. But for Christian, I mean, the violin I made for him was a good option. Obviously, he could never afford the original Stradivari. We're talking millions and millions of dollars. A good copy is a, is a, is a very good option for him. I was interested in, in, in buying a, a long pattern Stradivari. Uh, that's the model that I was interested in, which is, is not exactly the, the most common model. Uh, there is a period where Strad was building instruments that were narrower but considerably longer. Um, it's, a, it's quite a, it's an early Strad and there aren't that many around. And so um, certainly there are none here in Ottawa, that's for sure. Uh, so I traveled to a museum in South Dakota where there is one, a very good one. Um, it's a well-preserved example and, uh, and uh, the museum was very gracious and allowed me to spend a day measuring the instrument, taking notes and tracing the outline and so on. And so basically gathering all the information I would need to, uh, to make a good copy of that violin. So I had CT scans on that violin. So, so it was quite a big project to pull all that information together and then start making it. The, the copy. Vashon also took time to give us a taste of what this amazing violin sounds like. In Guy Harrison's Violin Workshop for Sun Media, I'm Darren Brown.